Today we're going to look at the Wazoo Adventure Kit and Cash Belt. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to be looking at this cash belt and adventure kit from uh, Wazoo. If you're unfamiliar, this channel is the review channel to my main channel, Kent Survival. I review the gear here that I use over there. Wazoo sent me this a little while ago. I was going to use it on my canoe trip out to the island fort. So that was my original intention for first using this. Didn't get it in time because it comes from the States, so uh, uh, just having a look at it now and uh, yeah, seeing if it's, it's viable. Now the idea behind this is, here is the belt, which we'll uh, have a little look at. Got a carabiner on here, with some documentation, and what looks to be a ranger band as well. I was holding it together, so dual purpose there. It's got one of these scout style uh, buckles. This one is tungsten grey is very nice indeed and obviously it's a black belt variety of colors available so the idea behind this being oh, so that's just a handy little tab this velcros all the way down and you're left with a pocket where you can stash small items for a, a survival kit that you wear on you I like this idea because I like having survival type items on me rather than a survival kit because survival kit a lot of the time people just don't have on their person they'll have in their pack or something like that and you really need a survival kit on your person and uh, the smaller or less least noticeable it is the more likely you are to have it on you because the best survival kit is the one that you've uh, got on you there's a logo on the inside wazoo made in the usa so you can see one end there, another pull tab for easily opening it, all the way along to here. There's a little section either side. So I'll move this aside, and this is the adventure kit. So I'll pull you in for a closer look. Right, so here's the adventure kit. Um, it's 23 tools or 23 items, and this can be loaded into the belt. They also do a cash cap as well which has storage within it for um, having these handy items. So let's have a little look through what we've got here. So I'm just going to put this list here, just in case anything is confusing. We've got a small bag to start off, and we've got a little button compass there. It's plastic, looks to be liquid, it's quite well made. We've got a tiny whistle here, which works, I'm not going to do any louder than that. And tiny little button cell light. Now the smaller these items are the better because you're not going to notice them as much. We've got two of these fire plug style fire lighters that you rough up, they're kind of waxed cotton wool. And here we appear to have a ferro rod, a little o-ring over tiny little, I believe this is a ceramic knife. Let's give it a go, try the back of the knife. Well it definitely works. I'm not going to waste them uh, fire plug fire starters. I know they work, I've used them before, very good. Hold a flame for quite a long time. So that's a little ceramic knife and a little ferro rod. We have a signalling mirror, proper signalling mirror there with the hole in. That's by SOL, that's got a protective cover on it. Two zip ties which are kind of day glow orange. I believe these are trail markers, yeah, like wired plastic. And if I'm right, they are reflective yeah, I think they're reflective. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, there's six of them. We've got some Technora cordage, which is similar to bank line, it looks. Seems to be pretty heavyweight here. Uh, 25 feet of that. Got a couple of feet of duct tape here. This is 15 feet of uh, brass wire. It's all sealed inside this container here, airtight, for making snares or whatever else you want to do with it. This is our mini fishing kit. We've got a couple of uh, safety pins in there, some weights, some hooks. I'm guessing this is our fishing line looking at it. And all of these being in their own little containers, stop them rusting and stuff. This is a wire saw. It's not one of them chain style ones, one of them kind of smaller ones. We've got this little kit here, which has three ranger bands on. Ranger bands being like bicycle in a tube, very good for uh, prolonging your flame. 
I'm going to assume, yep, purification tablets. There's uh, two of them there, which I'm going to guess does two litres. And here we have a water collection bag and like a coffee filter for getting rid of the particulate matter in that water. And we've got here some aluminium foil or aluminium foil. It's very heavy weight. But yeah, you could uh, make a makeshift kind of water container for boiling water, something like that. I'm just going to check if there's anything in the middle of here. No, nope, that's all foil by the looks of it. Just felt like there was something in the middle because it's so heavy weight, like a, like a baking tray kind of weight. So yeah, that's all of our items and you can see how they keep everything quite slim. Obviously you can adjust these, you could provide your own, you don't have to get the adventure kit to go with it. Um, it's just that everything's quite small and sort of tested out. So what I'm going to do is load some of this into the belt and uh, see what it feels like on. Here is the belt. Um, I've put on a little bit of weight, <laughs> so it does just about fit. Wearing it and walking in it, I don't feel a thing inside of it. When you look at it and press on it, you can kind of feel the stuff. But I don't think it's particularly, I mean these you can tuck in obviously, but I don't think it's particularly obvious that there's anything in it. Not that it matters when you're out and about. So I think for certain sorts of trips, canoe trip like I was going to use it on, I'll take it on the next one. Absolutely amazing, you just put it on and completely forget about it. You're not feeling any extra weight because there's barely any. Yeah, it's a, a great idea actually. Right, so let's uh, draw some conclusions. Um, I really like it. It feels very well built, it's, it's really nice. Buckle here is very nice. Got a couple of loops under here as well, so you could even store stuff in there. Got a carabiner if you want to put it on there and have stuff dangle off you. If you don't have like a dangler for your knife or whatever. I like it. I really do like it. It's uh, $45 for the belt, which is American made. So that means something for you. It's a um, nice, well made product. If you want to just buy the belt, you can just buy the belt and put in stuff you have you'd likely have stuff if you're buying something like this or you've got that 23 tool adventure kit as well that is $80 that seems a little steep everything in it looks good and fine it just seems a tiny bit steep to me you know the value of something is is on you really and what money you have how much you would use something or with a survival kit how much you want to rely on it also supporting kind of uh, businesses from your country or countries that uh, you support. So uh, that's the prices of them. That's um, up to you to determine the value. The belt, 100% worth that. The adventure kit, that's on, on, on your own judgment. But everything in it does look good. So I'm not gonna try everything out right now. I actually wanna use this. I'm going to start using this on trips, canoe trips, long hikes, things like that for sure. Very handy knowing you've got all that stuff on your person. So yes, that's the Wazoo Cash Belt and Adventure Kit. Hope you enjoyed that um, and learned something. I'll put any links below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.